you know what it's like to have the right tool for the job, and maybe you are more familiar with not having the right tool for the job. When it comes to cylinder repair, the cylinder cyclone is the right tool for the job. This helps you out with those hard to do, rusty, or big cylinders. Rather than fighting them for hours and hours, you can break them down in a matter of minutes. I'd like to point out some of the main highlights of the cylinder cyclone. First, I'm going to start with the base, the construction. The main frame of this is a 20 inch steel pipe. That steel pipe makes this a freestanding unit. And what I mean by that, we have no concrete anchors, no need for pillars of concrete in the floor to take the torque. The frame of the machine takes all the torque of operating. That is a key feature. It's a lot easier to set up. Also gives you the flexibility of moving the machine very easily whenever you like to. Another feature that the 20 inch tube fulfills is the hydraulic reservoirs of the machine. There's three reservoirs in the cylinder cyclone. Number one being the oil that is used to operate the machine. The second reservoir contains the oil used for pressure testing. Pressure testing oil is kept separate from the operating oil for cleanliness. The third reservoir, which is the biggest, numbering 250 gallons, is used to collect the waste oil when disassembling cylinders. If you take a look in here, you'll see the drain pans. Each of those drain pans is sloped to the center right here. We've got a screen to catch debris and or tools when draining cylinders. So that enables you to just simply open the cylinder up and let the oil run. Let's take a look at the headstock. The headstock is bi-directional rotation and that is controlled by two units. Number one, we've got the hydraulic pump. The pump produces 6,100 foot-pounds of torque. For those cylinders that 6,000 foot-pounds doesn't cut it, we have a cylinder in place that has a ratcheting assembly which produces up to 50,000 foot-pounds of torque. Now we'll take a look at the quick change tool head. The tools are slid in place and pinned at the desired location. This is what we call the tail stock. The tail stock is not powered, it simply is placed wherever you desire and pinned in these holes. Next feature I'd like to explain is the ball screw drive. That is the drive that powers the head unit, moves the head forward and backward. The ball screw drive runs the entire length of the machine, giving infinite placement of the head from one end to the other. The ball screw drive also provides up to 20,000 foot-pounds of torque, pushing or pulling to get those cylinders apart. Let's take a look at the sky hook. The sky hook is the overhead crane used to position the cylinders in the bench. You can hang two to three chain hoists, whatever you desire, whatever works best for you to lower the cylinders into position. The sky hook is positioned directly in center over the bench, positioning each cylinder right where you need it. Let's take a look at what operates the machine. Main operation will be done by the wireless remote. Makes it very handy as you work. You can run it from anywhere you are, either end of the machine. On this remote are all the controls for moving the head forward, backward, the rotation, pressure control, and pressure test controls. And in the case that the remote wouldn't work or couldn't be used, we've got control box here. All the switches are on here to power it up without the remote and operate it manually. Another part of the manual operation, if needed, is the control valve levers located various places on the machine in case the remote cannot be used. Now we've got the gauge cluster. Out of these gauges, we've got four that have to do with the torque of the machine and two that have to do with pressure testing. These four big ones would give you the 
forward and reverse torque of the head and the open and closed travel of the head. These two gauges down here give you the PSI pressure testing numbers. So we got a good look at the cylinder side plan. Now comes the time to invest. If this looks like a big investment, let me point out a few points. Number one is safety. Why use forklifts, overhead hoists, and long pipes and risk the safety of your mechanics when you could own a cylinder cycling? Cylinders can be done much safer than a bench like this. Secondly is time saving. Again, we can spend hours of back-breaking labor trying to disassemble that tough cylinder. Why do that when we could put it in the cylinder cyclone and have it done in a few minutes? And thirdly, the cylinder cyclone enables us to save parts. Rather than torching cylinders apart, we can torque them apart in a sensible manner and save the customer money. So if the cylinder cyclone looks like an overwhelming investment, think about those points. And think about how it could pay off in your shop and enable you to serve your customers better.